Hello my Linians, this is Teacher Joy and today we're going to discuss the topic Factoring Polynomials. This video tutorial is based on your learning activity sheets in Mathematics 8, Quarter 1, Week 1. So bring out your learning activity sheet and turn your learner's module to pages 8 to 54. Our learning target for this session is to factor completely the different types of polynomials polynomials with common monomial factor, difference of two squares, and sum and difference of two cubes. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. I have here three questions for you to answer. The first question is, what is the product of What do you think is the answer? Excellent! The answer is negative 12. The next question is, what is the product of 3 and M? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? You are correct. The answer is 3. The last question is, what is the product of A and A raised to 2? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Brilliant! The answer is A raised to 3. Let's talk about factoring polynomials. Very good. The answer is 1 and 6. What else? Amazing. 2 and 3. 1 and 6 are factors of 6. 2 and 3 are also factors of 6. Now what about polynomials? Polynomial is an algebraic expression consisting of a sum of terms Now that we already know what factoring and polynomials are, let us discuss how to factor completely the given polynomial. There are different types of factoring. The first type of factoring is called the greatest common monomial factor. Let me show you these pictures. What is or are the thing or things common to these pictures? Brilliant! Food and people. This is the idea of 
greatest common monomial factor, you must identify what is or are common to all the terms of the polynomial. Let us have an example. Let us factor 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y squared z. The first step in factoring this polynomial is find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients. We have two numerical coefficients here, the 12 and 20. The GCF of 12 and 20 is 4. The second step is find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. X and Y are both common to all terms. 3 is the smallest exponent for X and 2 is the smallest exponent for Y. Thus, X raised to 3 Y squared is the GCF of the variables. The third step is get the product of the greatest common factor in A. The fourth step is divide the polynomial by its GCF. The resulting quotient is the other factor. Thus, the factored form of 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y squared c is 4x cubed y squared multiplied by the quantity 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. The second type of factoring is the difference of two squares. The special product pertaining to the sum and difference of two terms is the reverse relation of difference of two squares. Thus, the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x minus y is equal to the quantity x raised to 2 minus y raised to 2. Hence, the quantity x raised to 2 minus y raised to 2 is equal to the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x minus y. Let us have an example. 4x squared minus 36y squared. The first step in factoring this polynomial is find the square root of 4x squared and 36y squared. The square root of 4x squared and 36y squared are 2x and 6y respectively. Then after, write the product of the sum and difference of the square roots of 4x squared minus 36y squared. And that is quantity 2x plus 6y multiplied by the quantity 2x minus 6y. The third type of factoring is the sum of two cubes. The sum of two cubes has two factors, one binomial and one trinomial. The binomial factor is the sum of the cube roots of the given terms, while the trinomial factor consists of the sum of the square of the first term binomial factor, the negative of the product of the first and second terms of the binomial factor, and the square of the second term of the binomial factor. To summarize, the quantity x plus y raised to 3 is equal to the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x raised to 2 minus xy plus y raised to 2. Let us factor the given expression x cubed plus 27. The first step in factoring the given expression is to find the cube root of each term. In this case, the cube roots are x and 3 respectively. Then write the binomial factor of this expression consisting of the sum of the cube roots of the first and last term which is x plus 3. Next, write the trinomial factor of this expression consisting of the square of the cube root of the first term minus the product of 
the cube root of the first and last term plus the square of the cube root of the last term. Thus, the factors of x cubed plus 27 are the quantity x plus 3 multiplied by the quantity x squared minus 3x plus 9. The fourth type of factoring is the difference of two cubes. The difference of two cubes has two factors, one binomial and one trinomial. The binomial factor is the difference of the cube roots of the given terms, while the trinomial factor is made up of the sum of the square of the first term binomial factor, the positive of the product of the first and second terms of the binomial factor, and the square of the second term of the binomial factor. To summarize, the quantity x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the quantity x minus y multiplied by the quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared. Let us factor the given expression 8x cubed minus 27. The first step in factoring the given expression is to find the cube root of each term. In this case, the cube roots are 2x and 3, respectively. Then write the binomial factor of this expression consisting of the difference of the cube roots of the first and last term which is 2x minus 3. Next, write the trinomial factor of this expression consisting of the square of the cube root of the first term plus the product of the cube roots of the first and last term plus the square of the cube root of the last term which is equal to the quantity 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. Therefore, the factors of 8x cubed minus 27 are the quantity 2x minus 3 multiplied by the quantity 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now let us have some recap. What are the different types of factoring? greatest common monomial factor, the difference of two squares, and the sum and difference of two cubes. How to factor completely polynomials with greatest common monomial factor? Very good! The steps in factoring polynomials with greatest common monomial factor are First, find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients. Second, Find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. Third, get the product of the greatest common factor in step A and B. Then last, divide the polynomial by its GCF. The resulting quotient is the other factor. What are the factors of the quantity A squared minus B squared? Amazing! The factors are the quantity A minus B multiplied by the quantity A plus B. What are the factors of A cubed plus B cubed? Brilliant! The factors of A cubed plus B cubed are the quantity A plus B multiplied by the quantity A squared minus AB plus B squared. The last question is, what are the factors of A cubed minus B cubed? Excellent! The factors of A cubed minus B cubed are the quantity A minus B multiplied by the quantity A squared plus AB plus B squared. At this point, you may turn your activity sheet on enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on the activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper.
For enrichment activity number 1, you're going to factor completely the given polynomial and color the picture according to the color that corresponds to your answer in each number. Use the activity sheet provided inside the envelope of the learning activity sheet. Please get one copy of this activity then attach it to your answer sheet. For enrichment activity number 2, you're going to match the given products in column A with the factors in column B to decode the message of the key. Write your answers on a separate long band paper. For enrichment activity number 3, you're going to find the factors of the given polynomial, then connect the dots of given polynomial to the dots beside the two factors. The first polynomial has been drawn for you. Some dots will not be used. Use the activity sheet provided inside the envelope of the learning activity sheet. Please get only one copy of this activity then attach it to your answer sheet. And for your wrap-up activity, you're going to solve the given problem on your answer sheet. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text, call, or post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching.